A new video in tonight showing the aftermath of bombings in a city southeast of Kyiv. The woman who lives in this house says she heard an explosion, then ran out of the home to find a missile in her backyard. The bombings and bullets leaving thousands on edge here at home and turning to prayer as one of the only ways to find peace. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live in Orangevale tonight where hundreds, Marley, have been coming out to pray all week long. Yeah, they certainly have, Tony and Elizabeth. In fact, they are still clearing out right now after another night of prayer. It's really all anyone can do to try to stay calm as they fear for their loved ones in Ukraine. And we are learning that, that the communication with their loved ones is sporadic as many run for safety. So they are already calling religious leaders here in Sacramento asking for help on how to get out and get here. A call for help a half a world away. <laughs> pastor Vadim Dashkevich has taken these calls all day. We were there as he talked with a fellow pastor in Ukraine, rushing women and children out of the war zone. As he's trying to get them out, what is he seeing? They moved out without nothing. Even, I'm sorry, like no socks, no toothbrush, nothing. So uh, that's because why. Because of the violence they were seeing. Sure, because uh, it was like immediately. Fatim, better known as Pastor Dash at Spring of Life Ukrainian Baptist Church, where they've been holding prayer services every night since Russian troops invaded and the attack started. It's really hard for us. It's uh, emotionally, it's, uh, it puts you down. We didn't sleep all night because just news, 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 you yeah. know. Zoya and Mikola Kozik can't turn away from the news, worried about family and friends in their home country. Like many others, they gather at church for support. To pray for peace pray for in Ukraine, yeah. Pray and help, you, yeah. help hard time, you know, right now for them. Seoul Church now preparing to open its doors to refugees. CBS News just learned the Biden administration is considering protecting certain Ukrainians already living in the U.S. from deportation. And considering the large Slavic population in greater Sacramento, Pastor Dash expects an influx of refugees. This region is really open uh, for the refugees, for the immigrants, um, and uh, California always was uh, like helping this kind of people. So this will be the place uh, for much of the Slavic community in the morning at 9 o'clock for a special prayer breakfast. They'll also be joined by several community leaders, including Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg and U.S. Senator Alex Padilla. Perhaps a chance for them to get some answers as to what the next step is into allowing refugees into the United States. So much concern tonight. Marley, thank you.